Hello friends, uh, welcome once again. In this video, I am going to share with you about Water Quality Index or WQI. Water Quality Index deals or associate with interpretation of results in water quality monitoring and analysis. Okay, so before we see what is Water Quality Index, first let us see how we arrived at using Water Quality Index. Okay, so for example, Let's assume that I am interested in determining the groundwater quality of these three different uh, natural springs. Okay, so what do I have to do? So first thing first, I have to collect samples from these three different natural springs, isn't it? Then I transport the water samples to the lab. And in the lab, I'll analyze the water samples for different selected water parameters. And as a result, the analytical data of the various parameters studied will be obtained. Okay, so now let's say, so now let's say uh, for determining the, the, the water quality of the three different uh, uh, spring, let's say that these are the nine parameters that are selected, okay, for analysis. Okay, all right. So now let's assume Okay, that, let's, let's assume that the mean value of these different parameters studied are given here in this table. Okay, the mean value. So let's assume that these are the mean value. Okay. By looking at the raw analytical data, this data or the number here is complex and hard to interpret in terms of the meaning it carries, isn't it? It is with respect to the water quality the three different sampling sites possesses. Okay. Therefore, it is here where water quality index come into play. Okay. So on using water quality index from these three different sites, okay, uh, you will come later on. You will come to know that okay, it your waterfall uh, either it's excellent, good, poor, very poor, or unfit, unfit for consumption. Okay. This is just an example. It might be different. Or the, the, the status will be different for different matters okay so what is water quality index okay now water quality index actually was first developed by Horton in 1965 and the main objective of the main objective of WPI is to turn the complex data water quality data into information which is easily understandable by any person or the general public so, for example, the those uh, analytical data of the different sites they are very complex and like you won't be able to understand what they what do they mean you know, just by looking at it at a glance. Okay. However, if you use water quality index, those data will be transformed into something which is very easy to understand. Okay. So what is that? We'll see. Okay. So water quality index express the overall water quality of any water samples under its investigation. That is, on using water quality index, the analytical data of water samples studied okay, can be determined whether it is fit for drinking purposes or not. Okay. Or also it can be expressed the water characteristics as good, excellent, poor, very poor in terms of its quality. Okay. But how, double, uh, how water quality index work? Water quality index works this way. Okay. Water quality index summarize or simplify all the raw analytical data by merging them into a single value or data. Okay. So this single value or data often uh, are obtained, as you say, after the water quality index calculation will fall under one of the water quality index category of the method adopted. So based on this, the information about the overall water quality of any specific site or location is obtained. Okay, so the information now obtained after WQI values is obtained will be easily understand by one and all. Okay. So one needs to but one needs to remember that the overall water quality index value obtained obtained for each 
sampling site is the influence of each and every parameters incorporated in the study okay so uh, there are different types of uh, water quality index methods some of the commonly used water quality index methods are these for example the weightage arithmetic index method the canadian council of ministers of the environment water quality index and then the, the national sanitation foundation water quality index oregon water quality index or numero pollution index okay so for example if you used for example if you use weighted arithmetic index uh, method which was developed by brown and all you'll find that the wqi value obtained after the wqi calculation will fall under one of the five classes and based on it then conclusion about uh, based on that you can determine what type of water quality of the specific site or the specific area falls under and similarly if you use the water quality index method developed by nsf okay then your value also will fall under one of the in one of these five classes and based on that you can determine which type of water quality your samples falls under and similarly with oregon okay you similarly with oregon you see it fall like this and even in ccme wqi okay all right so now with this you'll find that the wqi method have uh, they are different from one another in terms of for example the formula that will be used for the calculation of wqi okay and the index class range and the index uh, the, the the water quality characteristics uh, status uh, even the parameters involved are uh, different. So therefore, for WQI calculation, the choice of water parameters selected for the study totally depends on the researcher or on the water quality index method adopted. So with this, we have come to an end of this video. Thank you so much for your attention and I hope this video will provide you or give you an insight about what is water quality index and with that, thank you so much once again and God bless.